Greetings summoners, Invader Side here. Welcome, Welcome to, to another summoners. episode of League of Legends Point of View. Today I will be playing a normal game on the test beta server. And I'm going to give you a preview of the newest champion called Jace, the Defender of Tomorrow. I'm always ready. Keep in mind that in this server, a lot of people don't actually play for fun. They actually play to troll and a lot of people is going to be pretty uh, bad and right. this is just to showcase this is not a game where I actually want to well I, I, I want to win of course but this is not a game where it's gonna be like super try hard uh, this is actually the first game I've played with him so Never we'll see how it goes yeah. now well team comp quickly is rumble and Ezreal bot Swain mid Nocturne jungle and myself Fade chase away. top and our enemies are Bane and Alistar bot, Cinch most likely top, Jace mid probably, and with your jungle. So, um, Jace has actually a pretty uh, interesting skill set. He is able to change between a melee champion and a range champion, and this is actually quite, quite fun uh, game mechanic they added to him. Uh, I believe this is going I to be. A pretty decent champion because because of this he can fill many many different roles. Pull it. Really? <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna help. Oh, never mind. Jace is top as well. I got two tops, and they have one bot. It's actually gonna be pretty never interesting here. Back. Gonna have to. Gonna get pushed quite bad here. So uh, basically, he's a. Oh, actually, I think I used Cinch uh, skin there. So basically, he uh, when he uh, changes modes, it's called transformation. And basically, what it does is you change, like I said, from a range, uh, from a melee champion to a range champion. And I, I believe that. Well, like I said, this is his main like mechanic. And this is because he can be played actually as a top champion quite effectively. I really like his um, his skill set as both range and melee. He's I'll, I'll, I'm using range right now because well, I'm gonna go for a kill here. I, I, I wanna I wanna start getting some advantage. <laughs> okay, so the you you see me my first skill well your passive actually every time you transform between range and melee you gain a movement speed buff and you also ignore unit collision so that's actually a pretty decent passive it allows you to chase quite effectively and it actually works pretty well with, with his whole skill set now your Q uh, your Q I'm gonna talk about range abilities first which is because that's how I am right now Actually, go for a kill here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I changed to. I gotta swing AFK already. So I changed to melee right now, and he's. Oh, his Q as melee is a targeted nuke that does AoE damage, and it's actually a pretty, pretty nice um, dash ability, and allows you to close, close the distance. I'm gonna head back now. And okay, I'm using all of my abilities now. I'm gonna say that this is my first real game with him, but I played him quickly on the with versus bot, so I can understand his abilities a little bit better. And I actually think he's a great champion to build with uh, with a Sheen and a Trader Force, actually. Powering up. I'm gonna get level two boots because I really need the movement speed. Okay. Okay, I need to speak of his abilities. Okay, like I said, his Q is a dash. It, it does physical damage and slows enemy once it hits, and it's AoE damage, so it's actually quite nice. Then you got your W. Your W gives you a passive mana per hit back, and it also does AoE damage over time on activation. Now, now th this is actually, uh, I believe this is actually pretty decent uh, ability for his W. It doesn't really make you uh, like super strong or anything like that. You can see me there. I can actually go for a kill here. 
Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, maybe I can. I'm always ready. There we go. Oh, poison, cinch poison. No, okay, I'm gonna stop following now. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't mention, every time you transform, uh, you gain a, an additional pa uh, passive ability. When you go from melee to range, your next auto attack uh, reduces the armor magic resist by a percentage uh, with your hit, and only, it only lasts for one hit. But your next hit, uh, as a when you go to, from range to melee, gives additional magic damage, and it's actually quite significant amount of magic damage once you get uh, a few more levels in it. Right now it's 50, and you also gain armor and magic resist passively, so that's actually a pretty nice ability to have. Because uh, uh, even when you're in, in melee mode, I, I notice that you can actually qu chase and burst people down quite effectively thanks to your dash. Oh, I actually used my either wrong. Okay, now that I'm gonna head back and... Now his first um, ability as a range is a skill shot nuke you you saw me use it a couple of times and it does AOE damage when it hits an enemy or after it reach reaches its uh, its max range. Now the I'm gonna go for the phage first. Now the, the the this ability has a fairly long range, but it has a cool um, synergy with on other of his abilities. His E when he uses his E you, you put down the the yeah what's a wall or that laser thing if you shoot your Q through that it gains oh, additional yeah. damage additional range and it shoots faster so it's actually very very interesting ability uh, synergy there you can use it to snipe people from a long distance uh, and it's actually quite fun to use now your W as a range gives you an increased auto attack actually a max auto attack increase you, you gain up to 2.5 attack speed on your auto attacks but your auto attacks do a little bit less damage as time goes by actually let's see if we can go for a cinch here should be able to get a kill yeah we're gonna get a kill here there we go very nice you can see there you can stick to targets very 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 nice Oh, he missed it. Okay, let's see if we can get a kill here. Okay. No, he died. Okay. So you you saw me there use uh, all of my abilities. Um, you, you saw my W there. It gives me the bonus uh, attack speed there. You can see they're shooting quickly. Three shots. And the more you level this, the the less penalty on you, the uh, auto attack damage it has. Right now it has a 70% uh, max damage per hit, which is a 30% damage penalty. And uh, when you get it to level 5, I think it's a little, even a little bit extra damage. Uh, I, I actually, so far, I, I don't really like maxing this ability for uh, second. I, I max my Q and I max my E because you're... Your E when you're in melee form is actually very, very effective. Okay, so I'm heading back now. Okay, so uh, your E as a range is the wall, like I said, it, and when you pass through it, it gives you bonus speed and has the synergy I already talked about with your Q. And that's about it. It's pretty decent, uh, pretty decent ability. It, it helps allies as well, so it gives. Uh, it, it's a, a pretty decent support ability right there. Now I'm gonna talk about his abilities as a melee champion. Uh, his Q I already talked about it. It gives you additional damage, scales off AD, and does slow and AOE damage, and it's a dash, so it's quite nice. It has a fairly long cooldown for a Q ability, but it works just fine. Then you got your W I already tell, that, told you that it does um, passive mana per uh, per hit. And uh, addition to that, it, you, you do uh, damage over time, and the damage over time is actually quite significant. 
uh, even though it scales off very well off AP, uh, gi uh, gives you one to one AP ratio. And after that, you got your look back. Uh, your E. Your E ability is actually quite interesting. It's a damage uh, on hit for, to your auto attacks, and it scales oh, off. Yeah. Uh, the, the target's max HP, so this is similar to what Poppy has in her Q ability. It, it, it does damage up with the percentage of max health of your opponent, and it also, uh, like I said, scales off AD, keeps max percentage of their health as magic damage, and it has an additional crowd controlling effect that it's a knock up. And that's pretty cool because you can actually. I can see him be played as a jungler as well, actually. He does have a pretty interesting... I could go for a killer, but I'm not gonna be that greedy. We could go for a jungling type of build. He does have a lot of AoE abilities. He doesn't have any type of sustain though, so you gotta be careful with that. But I really can see him as a jungler. He will be most likely a top champion and he will dominate most matchups because he can go either range for some type of, of enemies and he can also go melee against other type of en en enemies and switch as he, as he needs. And switching between stances or transformations actually is basically your main, your main way of play. So this is actually on a fairly low cooldown, it doesn't really... Um, Going for the kill here. I might live here actually. I could go for the kill, but I'm not gonna be that greedy, like I said, I don't wanna die. I'm actually not gonna even stand here, I'm gonna keep running. Now you can see there he has a lot of burst damage and in and, and, and AoE damage as well. I mean uh, he went to try and kill me there. <laughs> Okay, so he has a lot of burst damage. Uh, he, 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 you can see his his range as a well as a standard range champion in that sense, and he brings a utility as well when he's in range. But when he's uh, a melee form, he is more of a burst type champion, and with very decent AOE abilities as well. He, he has a lot of crowd control, and he, like I said, he can be played straight up range champion or he can also be played uh, a straight up bruiser type of champion because of the bonus armor and magic resist you gain every time you hit you hit the melee transformation so so yeah that, that's that's pretty much it he he has a very interesting kit of abilities and i actually think he's gonna be a very strong champion okay. now for building like I said, I really like building uh, since he has that great mix of of both. Uh, oops, I, I used my abilities wrong there. So, should I, shouldn't have flash there. That's fine. Still, we still got the kill. Let's go top. Now, like I said, building him, he he needs to be built more as a as a bruiser type champion instead of a range carry in my opinion he, even though he does have a pretty decent range when he uh, transforms into range mode oh crap i couldn't kill him no i'm gonna kill here oh no that's cc yeah i got a little bit greedy there <laughs> Triple kill from the Alistair. Okay, so well that's fine. Uh, like I said, we're just playing for fun here. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to buy this champion. Like, definitely. He, he's just extremely fun to play. And, and right now, I do believe most of his abilities, uh, the ratio on his abilities is quite nice. It, it's not overly... Uh, Israel. They're not overly OP because I can see a lot, a lot of counters to him, especially champions with a lot of sustain or shields, for example. Riven might be a pretty decent counter to him. Also, Udyr and Warwick top could be very strong. But like I said, he, since he has so many dashes, you can see the range of his dash right there is extremely high. And since it slows after you land, 
I believe this is going to be one of his main um, harassment tools as a melee type champion. And the damage is actually quite significant once you leap. You have a lot of ways to follow up in damage, basically. That's what I'm trying to say here. And I'm just doing a little bit of poke there. The, like I said, you want, really want to be changing uh, transformation, doing your transformation all the time. You don't want to stay just in one. Since it doesn't cost any mana or anything like that, you should always try and be transforming into the appropriate form you need. You can see, I'm gonna try and do a long range shot here. Oh, I missed. You can see there the movement speed I gained from the barrier. The, the, the missile speed on the Q is extre uh, extremely high when you use it. And you shoot it through it and the range as well I, let's see how long it can go let me put down my e here we go yeah pretty pretty long i like that it's a pretty cool synergy like i said and gives a very good element of strategy to him now the 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 small aoe that it has is excellent for farming some type of minions and actually when when enemies are, are um and bunched, bunched up. It's gonna be extremely important to. Ooh, let's go get this kill. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Got this. He's ignited. Yeah. I got a pretty decent team here. Oh, he flashed. <laughs> oh, good. Now, like I said, this is my first real game with him. Keep in mind that I don't even really know how he's gonna work overall, uh, like in team fights and stuff like that. I, this is my first game, I think. and I'm doing pretty decent right now. Like, even though I was versus two people, they weren't that great of chap uh, of enemies. They made a lot of mistakes. But like I said, uh, you should you should think of him as a very strong top champion. That's I can see that immediately he he has so many many awesome abilities oh shield shield nice he lives i'm gonna chase him you have so much movement speed oh crap here comes the alistar oh it has a new skin as well that's pretty cool i haven't noticed oh you guys let me know if you want me to uh, do skin showcases i can do that as well if you really, uh, I did the one for uh, Ezra, the Pulse Fire Astro, but I can do for others if you really want to. Just let me know. I, I pull, pushed him away with my E there so I wouldn't die. Even though we uh, we didn't get the kill, but I, at least I didn't die. No! No! Why did I go back? <laughs> All in the name of fun. Okay, I got my training force already, and I also, even though all of his abilities skill off AD, well, you, you I, I actually think that getting a brutalizer on him is actually quite, quite a good investment. The brutalizer uh, gives you a good amount of AD, and the cooldown reduction is not too shabby. Nice. You can go for a bloodthirster after your training force. And you know, I actually think he's going to be very well, very good if you build him similar to a, um, let's see here, if you build him similar, well, if you build him with t uh, gold for 10 items, you can gain uh, get a Philosopher's Stone early on on a Heart of Gold, and with those two items, try and get your Trinity Force up as, as soon as possible. And th that's similar to the playstyle I like to do with, with when playing Poppy in a lane getting those gold per 10 items since she doesn't have that great of a farm but he can farm quite nice I mean don't get me wrong but I, I think if he he is very strong early game he doesn't really need that many items and you can still farm and get those gold per 10 items and be pretty much unstoppable around the 25 minute mark if you can get both, both of them early on you can see that he, he has no problem farming I'm gonna take out this tower quickly here. He's dead. Ignite. Get him, ignite. Get him. Oh, he lives. 
OP, OP singe. No, I wanted to kill him. Let's see if he sticks around a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's the type of thing I, I really like about him. Oh, that synergy with his E. That was just awesome. Yeah, no, I'm getting away from it. Okay, so movement speed for 3 seconds, and you use your R, you get additional movement speed. And this is just great. I really, really like this, this playstyle. And he, he basically becomes, if you build him as a bruiser, he later becomes an ranged bruiser similar to Urgoth. Even though you don't have any sustain abilities or shields or anything like that, but he he, he really feels like uh, like a ranged bruiser. I'm gonna go for a bloodthirst in this game, but getting a little bit of life steal so I can have sustain. And I think it's time to start pushing and uh, finish the game. I think you guys got a very good glimpse of what he what he is and what he can do. Never look back. Very very fun game. I'm always ready. Yeah, good poke there. The the damage on your Q is not that that great, uh, like base damage, but it's it, it's overall uh, it's great for uh, poking and stuff like that. Uh, it does not apply on hit effects. Okay, you see my. Hypercharge. Oh, okay, right now it does 100% additional. Um, well, it does 100% of the damage. Are we going for a kill here? We could. I think it's warded. Okay. Trying to bait him. Never mind, just push, it, push this. I'm going to. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Pushing this. You really, you really shouldn't fight me. I'm way, way stronger than you are. Up there. Just run. No, what are you doing? You gonna fight this? Oh, should be good. Oh no, she's gonna get me. Come on, one more transform. Yeah, all oh, that movement speed is just awesome. Just completely awesome. Okay, heading back. Oh, never mind. Let me go help him out. Oh, but nice, nice ulti there. Did I get him? No. He's gonna be around uh, here. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 he's gone. Oh well. Yeah, he's gone. Heading back myself. Oh actually, let me go get the top farm. And then I'll be able to get my uh, BF sword. Okay, you can farm with your Q. Sword. One more. When you here, when you wait. Okay. Oh, he actually attacks. His att attacks animations are pretty cool. Okay, heading back. I'm surprised these guys haven't um, surrendered yet. What are you doing? No. Oh, you died. <laughs> Okay, it's time to, to push the mid, like I said. Yes, yeah, straight, straight, straight to the mid. Into a win. We also need some wards as well. Oh, they could be going for dragon. Let's, let's go stop him. Okay, 
Yeah, he's can't do it. He's way too low as well. Never a wrong oh, go for the cinch. There we go. Speed up, everyone. Oh, what are you doing, man? You have no, you have no damage. Oh, there we go. Let's end this. We can, we can actually take the inhibitor. I pushed him away from me. You saw me there. That was excellent, excellent job on our team. And we can take this now quite easily. He's just awesome in team fights. It's very fun to play. Give them a movement speed there. Just keep on pushing them. Okay, let's go bot actually. Or actually, we should go heal up. Let's see if we can take the tower and then head back. We got a pretty decent minion. Oh, we had the minion wave here, so we should be able. There we go. Let me help out the Swain. Never mind, he's no, no blue there. Hmm. Okay, I guess. You should attack it. Nice job, Ezra. Okay, heading back for my Bloodthirster. And you, you, if you want to build him, like I said, uh, tanky DPS. You can also mix in a Wits End, for example. I'm always ready. But right now, like I said, I, I'm just still learning him. This is my first game with him. And we'll see how he is built later on. But I really do see him as an excellent addition to anyone who who likes the top lane as well as basically. He he will do a very good job. Oh come on. I'm so dead here. Let's take the Baron and just push for win. Uh, someone else needs to be tanking it. No one's gonna tank it. Okay, just just go top then. I will light up path. Changing, transforming, so I can gain the movement speed. Our future will be bright. There we go. Getting hit too much. Oh, that poison. Just gonna get gain my health back here. Oh, the movement speed's just OP. No, she killed me. Oh, he's dead. That's pretty bad. I'm on. This Nocturne really needs to help us out. Oh, he has 9 kills. Never mind. He's doing fine. <laughs> no, I should the Baron. I hate when you do that. You Arcane Shift over there and the Baron just starts destroying you. Bane is actually very scary right now. Unstoppable. Oh, very nice. He got him with his ulti there. 
Yo, you're missing your Q. Come on, Astro. Got this. Oh, you got baited. Yeah. You got baited so bad. Let's see if she stays in the lane, trying to farm. I don't think she will. I'll just push this then. <laughs> I'm so strong. There we go. Oh, having skill shots on in a a Bruiser is very fun. Okay. Uh, we need to take this. Easy, easy take here on the There we go. There we go. <laughs> Just awesome. I really like this champion. Hopefully he'll come out soon on the normal servers. So we can start seeing him in normal matches. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more. Uh, well, I, I will be doing previews of all the all the low content, but let me know if you want to see skin showcases. For example, the Alistar skin I just you just saw. Uh, he he actually has a skin already. I can also give you a showcase of that skin. There we go. Oh, that damage so awesome. Very nice. Oh, almost died there. There we go. Easy kills. Okay, guys, so yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know what other champions you want to see next. Remember, I do daily uploads, and uh, that's it. And better side signing out. Victory.